G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here, and we're on the beautiful Burley Beach. This is actually Burley Break. It comes in off here, and these are volcanic rocks. And today the surf is very calm, very civilized, and well, it's going to work for us as we use the Reheld app. And so today I'm just looking and giving you a bit of a tutorial about how the Reheld app works and what you can expect from it. Because it's an amazing piece of technology that they put in an app to enable you to take long exposures, handheld, and have clear, perfect, bang on results. So this is the Reheld app and what you look at. You have three options of lenses on the iPhone Pro Max 13, which is what I'm using. So you have telephoto, you have your wide, and then you have your ultra, and you access them by tapping that little circle with that currently has a U in it. In your bottom left, you have your photo preview screen. So all the photos you've taken, you'll be able to preview just by touching that and accessing the gallery. You have your settings cog, which gives you one setting, which is a smart indicator, which you can deactivate or activate. And that enables you to have a little cross of stabilization that you'll see in just a minute. You can have a photo delay function if you like of three seconds if that's important for you and uh, useful for you and then uh, the rest of it's quite simple you simply line up your shot that you want you select the length of seconds by just scrolling this screen along you can go up to 30 seconds and once you've selected you just press the shutter button and a timer goes around the outside of one second and it shows you your photo and that's your photo that you get let's just zoom in all right so that's one second what I thought we'd do is just go through, let's say let's go 10 seconds. I like to lock the old shoulders in, make sure I'm standing somewhere that's secure rather than balancing like a, like a mountain goat on a rock. A couple of tips about how you get the best results. Uh, if you hold your phone with two hands, if possible, two hands, hold it center mass, tuck your elbows in so they're clenching. So they're clenching your sides so you can hold your, your phone calmly. Um, make sure your feet are sturdy and separated apart so you're well balanced and centered. And then look forward uh, in, the, in the direction of the photo that you're taking and don't let anyone, um, uh, what's the word? And don't let anyone distract you and this is what you can do. You gotta try and hold it as still as absolutely possible. And around that shadow button, see the middle crosshair shows you how much shake you've got. All right, there's our shot. Let's zoom in on that and see how that looks. Look at that, I was shaking like a leaf. And look how clear and solid those rocks are. And it has that beautiful um, murky, milky, misty effect that you want from long exposures. All right, okay, let's go the full hog. Let's go on to 30 seconds. And we'll just show you what this can do. I will again, I'm gonna shoot this time on a wide setting. And let's go landscape just for fun. And here we go. I've sped this up so you guys don't have to waste your time watching me stand still. Boom, there's a shot. Let's see if it's any chop. Look how, look how insanely clear those rocks are. Look at that. That's nuts. The city, the sea. Are you impressed? I'm, I'm impressed. Holy madooly. Yeah, exceptional, exceptional. There's your gallery if you want to go through that. It just pumps it into your iPhone photo gallery. And so if we went to our gallery, we'd see the same sort of thing. So now I'm going to put up some screenshots of different examples of different photography. And let me explain some of my learning and then you can watch the rest of these. I'm going to put a couple on the screen at the same time. So you may have to go back and have another look and slow it down. But you'll just get to see my process, the way I compose and the actual results as they materialize before you. But what I've noticed is that if you have have a something that's a subject in your screen that's moving like water over rocks you get that beautiful long exposure effect if you have a subject that is moving from one side of the screen through the screen to the other it vanishes so it deteriorates in its prominence in the photo whether that's light trails at night or whether it's a seagull during the day or people if you want to shoot a landscape like I just want to get rid of the people and they're moving around you can just use a long exposure and the people will blur out to nothing um, and you'll see that in some of these examples it's not great at night 
So if you're thinking, oh, I could take this out and do some light trails and those sort of things, I would encourage you to get the Reflex app and not the Reheld, because the Reheld is perfect for during the day and capturing those long exposures that you're like, I'd need a 10 stop filter and I'd need a tripod, but now all you need is the app and you can take some incredible shots that people will be like, whoa, how did you do that? So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, give the Reheld app a look. There'll be a link in the description below and enjoy these examples of my screenshot, my video screenshots as I've uh, used this app around my recent travels. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.